Good afternoon. We are going to take notes on trig point seven in unit 11, which is 90 degree angles and application problems. This is the second set of angles you need to memorize. So pause your video and go ahead and recreate this table and then restart the video so we can fill it in together. Go ahead and pause the video. Okay. So there is a trick to memorizing these that makes it a little bit simpler. One is that if you can just measure, uh, memorize sine and cosine, from those values, you can pretty much figure out the rest of them in a pretty short amount of time. So what are those sine and cosine values? So sine of zero degrees or zero radians is zero. Sine of 90 degrees or pi over two radians is one. Sine of 180 or pi is zero. Sine of 270 or three pi over two radians is negative one. Now the cosine angles look a lot alike, but they start with one. It goes one for the zero, zero for 90 degrees, negative one for 180 and zero for the 270. So how can we use these to figure out the rest? Well, remember that tangent is equal to sine over cosine. So if you're trying to find tangent of zero degrees, you're going to just take sine of zero over cosine of zero. Sine of zero is zero, cosine of zero is one, and you get a zero. So tangent is always sine over cosine. Now, if you do one over zero, so tangent of pi over two or 90 degrees, you're going to take sine of pi over 2 over cosine of pi over 2. And that would be 1 over 0. You can't divide by 0, so it is undefined. So this one is undefined. So taking these over each other, 0 over a negative 1 is 0. Negative 1 over 0 is undefined. Now for cotangent, cotangent is cosine over sine. So you're going to flip your results. So 1 over 0 is undefined. 0 over 1 is 0. Negative 1 over 0 is undefined. And 0 over negative 1 is 0. See how easy that is? Now, remember that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So if you just take your sine answer and flip it, you have cosecant. So sine of 0 is 0. If you flip it, here, let's write this one down so you can really see. Uh, if you're looking for cosecant of zero degrees, cosecant is one over sine of zero degrees. Sine of zero is zero. You can't divide by zero, so it's undefined. So when you flip the zero, it becomes undefined. When you flip a one, one over one is one. You flip a zero, it's undefined. Negative one over one is negative one. You can do the same with secant. It's 1 over cosine. So cosine of 0 is 1. You flip it, it's 1. Cosine of 90 is 0. You flip it, it's undefined. Cosine of 180 is negative 1. You flip it, it's negative 1. And cosine of 270 is 0. You flip it, you are undefined. So you can really get the rest of these if you need to from sine and cosine, which minimizes what you have to actually memorize. All right, so that's the first thing I wanted to do was go through the basic chart with you. I'm going to flip the page here because I need some more space. OK. So let's go with example one. And your mission is to sketch theta, draw the reference triangle, label the sides, and find theta. And for this one, we're going to use radians. 
Usually they don't specify it's going to be um, degrees, but you always can check the key to see what units they're using. Most of the time they specify. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Cosecant of theta equals 2 over radical 3. Okay. So for starters, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So if this is a positive 2 over radical 3, it's going to be where sine is positive, which is definitely in the first quadrant. So we're going to draw our first quadrant. Here I'll make the other quadrants really small. I'm going to draw a reference triangle. It's a right triangle. Theta's there. Now, cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite side. So hypotenuse is 2. Opposite side is radical 3. So we need to find the third side. Um, if you can remember <laughs> that uh, the cosecant angle that gives you 2 over radical 3 is cosecant of pi over 3. That's one of your memorized angles. So that means your angle is pi over 3. So you can either do Pythagorean theorem or do sine of pi over 3, which is radical 3 over 2. Oh, that won't work. Sorry, I got to do cosine. Sorry about that. Cosine of pi over 3, which is 1 half. And that is adjacent over hypotenuse, which means my adjacent side here has to be a 1. So by identifying your memorized angle, you figure out what theta is. And theta was pi over 3. And then the missing side, if it's adjacent, you pick something with adjacent in it. Either secant or cosine will do. And whatever cosine is of that angle, you know it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So we have actually found the triangle. We found theta as well. Let me write theta as an answer. Theta equals pi over 3. And we have the labeled triangle. So that's how you do those ones. Um, label the triangle, find the missing side using a different trig function, and then label the tri finish labeling the triangle, and you've got it. Not super challenging. OK, example three. On this one, you're going to plot the angle, label the triangle, and then evaluate. That's your goal. So we're going to do cotangent of pi over 3. All right, so we assume it's in the positive quadrant because there's no reason to believe otherwise. So draw yourself a pair of axes. Draw a reference triangle, which is a right triangle. And our theta is pi over 3. Now, to do this one, you need to remember that cotangent equals adjacent side over opposite side. So when we know that cotangent of pi over 3 actually equals 1 over radical 3, the adjacent side is 1. The opposite side is radical 3. So we're supposed to plot the angle, label the triangle, and evaluate. So, so far we've done the evaluation, 1 over radical 3, but you need to rationalize it. Radical 3 over 3. What we're missing is the last side of the triangle. So we want to pick a different function that uses the hypotenuse. Probably sine would be just as easy. So sine of pi over 3 is equal to radical 3 over 2. And sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is radical 3, which means the hypotenuse is 2. And that's how you get the third side, is by using a different trig function to actually evaluate. All right, so get memorizing those angles as soon as possible. And we're done for the day. Have a good afternoon.